entrepreneurgoddess.com and I am here today with Christy Brooks and she is a celebrity stylist and fashion consultant. You got it. And I am very lucky to have her today because she's going to give us some tips on the eight essential items that every woman should have in her wardrobe. So. The first item I recommend every woman has is a white button-down blouse. And I did some okay. snooping in here earlier and I found a great one. Um, this one, it looks like it's from Target, which is one of my favorite stores. Yes. Am I right in that assumption? <laughs> exactly. Now, I love white blouses cheap. because you can do, yeah. first, nothing's wrong with cheap. Um, <laughs> you can do anything with them. Uh -huh. I mean, this obviously you can wear with a pencil skirt, you can wear with a suit um, for a more working professional look. Or if you kind of want to, you know, dress it down. I love a white shirt with jeans. I think it's such a classic, classic look. You know, I always think of Audrey Hepburn with her flipped up white collar and jeans. Um, and it's also, it's almost like a blank canvas. If you're wearing a white shirt, you can put some um, pearls with it. If you really want to go classic, you can do some bright colors and accessories. You can really dress up the shoes. So I think of this as kind of a, a blank canvas. You can really dress it up or down. I also mentioned a pencil skirt, which I saw in here. And I love that you did the high-waisted. Yes. This, um, <laughs> this is something we'll we can kind of touch on later, but um, a black pencil skirt is just a very, very chic silhouette. It's, for some reason, it seems to be universal flat, universally flattering, whether you're a size 14 or a size zero. It just kind of works. What about it, the chest sizes? Does that make a difference? No, I just think, um, I have what I call um, the scientific term, the T to A ratio. If you're, would that be? <laughs> if you are showing a lot of T up here on top, you know, if you have a deep plunging V-neck, you're not going to want to wear a very, very short skirt. You're not going to want to wear something skin tight. Okay. Conversely, if you're, you know, really working what you got on the okay. bottom, you want to be a little bit more blousey and not okay. quite so tight fitting on top. Um, trousers. Now, to me, um, there's something called muffin top, which drives me up a wall. Are you familiar yeah, with muffin top? Yeah, I see lots of muffin tops everywhere. <laughs> Most women are, but in case you're not, it's when you insist on wearing a pair of pants that are too small for you, and you get this like little skin fold that comes over the side. It drives me crazy. No one knows what size pants you're wearing, so just bump it up to the right size, and no one's Exactly, so and it looks so much better yeah. in the end. You're not I, broadcasting a yeah. four or six on your tush. Exactly. No one knows. So go up a size. If you're in between two sizes, go up a size. Fit is really, really important. Um, so I recommend a great pair of black trousers. I mean, black is really, you can't go wrong with black. It makes everything look a little bit smaller. Um, and yeah. again, this is a piece like the white shirt that you can really dress up or dress down for the office environment. Um, so I recommend doing a black pair. I also recommend doing a patterned pair. Moving right along, it is a weapon I think every woman has in the wardrobe arsenal. It is the little black dress. And that's perfect for the office or cocktail party, I Exactly. Think. See, you're catching on already. <laughs> you're not even going to need me soon. Uh, I love this one that you have. It's a shift dress, which I, you know, always makes me think of Jackie O. And so mm -hmm. chic and so um, it's really a timeless piece. Let's talk about a suit. I know actually Katie and I were talking yesterday and she mentioned she wasn't quite sure about suits. Um, my pet peeve is what I call a cheap suit. And when I say that, I don't mean it only, you know, costs you $40 at Ross. Great. Fit is really, really important. Nothing looks worse than a cheap suit. So even if you spend $20 on a suit, take it somewhere to get it tailored. That's going to make it look much more expensive and much, much nicer on your figure. Well, here's another tip, though. When you buy a suit, like say you get a cheap suit, you know, if it's $20, that's a real bargain. But maybe you only like the top part of the suit, but the pants don't look bad. So, like, get rid of the pants, give them to someone else, find someone who likes them, and keep the rest of it. Exactly. It's still a bargain. Exactly. And I'm glad you said that because if you do put the whole suit in your closet, a lot of times I tell clients, you know, when you buy an outfit as an outfit, you only see it as that outfit. So you only see it as a suit. So a lot of times I'll say, you know, buy a suit, hang the jacket with the jackets and the skirt or the pants with the skirt and the pants. Yeah. That way it kind of forces you not to think of it as an outfit. Um, moving right along, what about shoes? Let's see yeah. if you have these shoes. Here we go. Um, well, obviously, you know, black pump. I'm actually wearing a great pair that I got on sale at Saks for 75% off. Um, a black pump, I think, is a great great way to go. It goes with everything. Um, as far as toes go, pointed toes and rounded toes are always, they're usually always in. It's a square toe that is very trendy. <laughs> yeah, they're, well, it's okay because right now they're in. <laughs> Put them away next season, but right mm -hmm. now they're in. Um, so pointy toe or round toe, you're really never going to go okay. wrong with a black one. And I see, I'm so excited, I see you have a pair here of nude colored heels. Now these are fabulous, I'm very proud. And you have nude colored boots. You're yeah. a, look at you. I'm on a nude roll. I'm just nude, I'm just a nude kind of girl. <laughs> and I like it. The, um, the great thing about nude is that, I think we've all had that dress or that suit where we're like, mm -hmm. what color shoe? You don't wanna, you know, you can't match it exactly. You don't know if you wanna do contrast. Um, metallics have always been what women have gone to in that situation, yeah. but nude shoes I love because they go with everything. They also make your legs look much longer than they are. And I don't know, any woman really? can argue. They do because the visual, the 
the visual line when you're wearing these shoes, your eye just keeps going and going and going. Where if you're wearing a black shoe, your eye kind of stops where the shoe is. Handbags for professional or non-professional women. I see you have a great giant one here, which yes, I love. My favorite handbag. I, you have great taste. I yeah. love, love, love it. Yeah. Um, I love the big handbag for work. I think, you know, again, a briefcase is very uh, Melanie Griffith. Working, I keep going back to that because it's just a, the briefcases are out. They right? are. Okay, let's just get. The, yeah. Let's put that out there. Briefcases are out. No way to salvage them. I'm sorry. Messenger bag, you're okay, but um, for women, I just think a big bag is a little bit more feminine and a little bit more chic. So you know, you take this to work during the day, and I saw another fabulous little purse here. You know, you can throw this into your purse, a little clutch. You throw it into your big purse for work. You forget about that until later. Then, you know, you're ready to go out to a networking event, you're ready to go out for cocktails. You don't have to lug this big giant thing around. You just take out your little purse. Put your wallet in. Wallet, lipstick, or, keys, yeah. whatever, other Money. essentials. Yeah, exactly. Maybe some business cards and you're good to go. The eighth and final piece um, is a great fit for right now because it's a little bit chilly, but it's not freezing. You might be cold in the morning, you go out for lunch, you're a little warm, you go home, you're cold. So I don't think women need big bulky jackets. I just think it's like an extra weird layer, you know. No woman wants bulk where you don't need it. So something I love is a fitted cardigan, and you have two perfect examples here. Um, with these, I recommend one solid color. So this, we have a chocolate brown one. Um, you want it to look shrunken on you a little bit. And I know that sounds weird. You don't want it to be skin tight, you know, buttons popping off, but you want it to be a little more fitted. And the reason I say that is because that, again, it's all about tricking the eye. It brings the eye in and it just makes you look a little bit tinier. So you can be wearing, you know, a big kind of blousey, button up underneath, but you put this on, it's going to bring everything back in. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. And that was Christy Brooks from Style Lab, the thestylelab.biz. She's a celebrity stylist and a fashion consultant. So thanks for joining me, Christy. Thanks for having me. And I hope all you ladies at home can use these tips.